Hey X3 family, my name is Kanisa and welcome to Those Jerkies Times 3. Um, so before we get into this video, I first wanted to just say thank you guys so much for all of your sweet, sweet comments. It really, reading all your comments really just made me, sorry guys, it's Marley, really made me so proud to be a part of this community of Those Jerkies Times 3 and just the support that we've built together and the love and the kindness. It really did warm my heart and I greatly appreciated it. Um, it meant so much to me that you guys took the time to A, watch the video, B, to just give me your condolences and let me know that you guys are thinking about us. And um, yeah, I just wanted to start by just saying thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, it didn't go unnoticed and it was greatly, greatly appreciated. So, <clears throat> for today's video, I hope Marley doesn't bark. I have all the windows open. And when he sees people, he barks and then Zoe's down here rubbing her body on the carpet. They just got bad, so I don't know exactly. Come here, Zozo. Oh. There's a Zozo. I don't know if anybody was asking, but Marley and Zoe are doing pretty good. I think at first, of course, they were um, looking for her and things like that, trying to figure out where she was. And sometimes Zoe and Bailey would play in a certain way. And sometimes I see Zoe trying to play with Marley that way, and he's like, what are you doing? So, um, but, you know, they're both doing good. Um, yeah. So, this video, I saw in the comments that a lot of people had gone through similar things that I've gone through, lost a pup, had to deal with grieving. So, I kind of wanted to do a video and focus on the grieving process and how to properly grieve because I did touch on it a little bit. I think that sometimes people are not as sensitive to people who lose pets um, because they don't think how we think because you know we're a dog community so we know that our pets are our family, Some, our pets are our lives, they're our children, we love them just as much as we would love anybody and so sometimes people don't take the grief that you will feel when you lose a pet as serious as they would take the grief that you feel when you lose a family, friend, or loved one. So I thought it'd be a good idea since you guys had similar things happen and we have similar stories that we do a video. Shh, Marley, Marley, come here. That we do a video specifically on. There's to Marley. That we do a video specifically on how to grieve and what grieving looks like and unhealthy grieving and things like that. So um, what I did was I reached out to my dad and he's been a pastor for uh, psh, over 20 years I would say and he's been a grief counselor for a while and I asked him to give me some tips and things that I could share with you guys on grief and of course when I lost Bailey he was definitely there giving me grief counseling, talking me through it, checking in on me every day and making sure that I was processing it okay and I wasn't just stuck in the grief. So. We were talking and he gave me a few little points and I just wanted to kind of share it with you guys. I wrote it down in my notebook. I think the first thing that's important to think about is it's okay to grieve when you lose a pet. Don't let any, like I said, that is the same loss that you feel when you lose a family friend or love them because that's what our pets are. So that is why it's so important to grieve. So one of the questions that I asked my dad was, um, why is it important to grieve? or how do you cope with loss. And so one of the things that we talked about is grieving is important because it allows us to release a bound of energy connected to the person so we can distribute the emotions because if we don't distribute the emotions we hold on to it and we just hold on to that grief we stay in that place and it's not healthy to just stay in that place. You have to process your grief. You have to not forget but learn to move forward. And you know um, when I first lost Bailey like I said in the last video, it was hard for me to think about how am I going to move forward um, with those rookies times three? How am I going to move forward with life? You know what I mean? Because life is not the same anymore, obviously, because we're missing something. But now I have to figure out how to maneuver through life missing this piece. But again, not forgetting, but learning to move forward and still holding that space for love for Bailey in my heart. And that's kind of how I had to look at it. Um, she's not... She's not gone, she's just not physically here. She's always in my mind, in my heart. I can think of good memories with her and things like that. So that's why it's important to grieve because you just want to make sure you cope with everything and you're able to really just find a way to 
be okay and move forward so and that's why we also it's important because there's definitely a difference between healthy grieving and unhealthy grieving and so <laughs> Put on your back collars. Do you want your back collars? Okay, so there's definitely a difference between healthy and unhealthy. Marley, one more. I'm gonna have to put your back collar on. He doesn't care. Marley, no, it's okay. It's okay. So there is a difference between healthy grieving and unhealthy grieving and healthy grieving allows us to understand and remember the importance of our loss but with a sense of peace and not pain so you you want to be at peace when you think about your pet and you know that for me I still struggle with because um, sometimes when I have to think of Bailey and I think of things she did or I think of the night when everything happened um, I do get a little bit sad and I do get a little bit like blaming like oh I could have did this or I should have did this but I'm trying to whenever I get those negative thoughts and I feel that I try to think of positive things like I know Bailey knew I loved her I know Bailey's in a better place I know Bailey's okay um, I know Bailey's looking over us and push away that pain and that helps to bring me peace when I'm thinking about Bailey and remember <laughs> I'm gonna put on their bra collar. I really hope I'm in focus. I'm a one woman show today, so if I'm not in focus, I'm sorry. Um, but anyways, um, that is how, that's the difference. That's why it's so important to have a healthy grieving process and to learn how to move forward. Um, so my dad gave me a good quote. The mind has a built-in therapeutic mechanism that can move us beyond our initial reaction to the loss to a place where we can accept it even if we don't understand. Because a lot of times we don't understand why we lose loved ones, why we lose family members, why we lose pets. But even though you don't understand, I don't know if you guys are religious, but you know, you gotta just put your trust in God and come to terms with it. You know, everything is not meant for us to understand, and we're not going to understand everything on this side um, of life. So, it's almost like, how can I come to peace with something and be at peace with something, even if I don't understand why it happened? Um, so, you know, that's important. And so, unhealthy grieving and failure to grieve, um, what it does is it keeps us in a state of shock, and it prevents the mind from moving on resulting in a person being stuck in that reality. This causes your mind to keep playing the event over and over again because you're stuck. That is, that's just no way to live. You don't want to constantly think of a painful thought and a painful memory over and over and over again. Um, you become stuck, you become depressed, and a lot of things can happen from that depression that of course are not good. So, you know, it's okay to grieve and it's okay to feel that but you just don't want to be stuck there. You want to be able to move from that space, um, if that makes sense. So these are six, six signs that you're stuck. So you have intense longing for what is lost. The second thing is you'll have intrusive thoughts. And these can be thoughts that are so strong that you forget things that you need to do like, oh, I needed to pay this bill or I needed to pick up this from the dry cleaners or you know what I'm saying it can interrupt it can interrupt your lifestyle um, and that's definitely a sign that you may need to go and get some grief counseling and that and that's fine if you need to go and get therapy and help have somebody to help you go through the process another sign that you're stuck in your grief is that you'll have inability to accept the loss and you know it's it's hard it's so it's so hard and you guys know that because you've lost um, pets and family members but you have to accept it you know um, even in a 12-step program the first step is always to accept it to accept you have an issue to accept there's an addiction so you have to accept the loss so therefore you can figure out how to move forward and begin to cope with the loss um, the fourth thing is avoidance of reminders 
so you won't go to a house or a street or you won't go to a restaurant because it'll remind you of that person and I'm guilty of that after initially losing Bailey I didn't even want to drive on the street um, that would get us to the emergency vet that we took her to that was really 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 hard for me to even go over there um, and um, you know I recently went over there and I saw the building because it's over there and it's by like um, a movie theater, it's by Topgolf, it's by Costco and so I went over there and I, I felt okay, I felt at peace. Of course I thought of Bailey, of course you know I thought of that night but I still felt peace over me and not the pain that I would initially feel. The fifth thing is loss of meaning or purpose you lose to the will to go on and of course you guys know that that is a very serious sign that you're stuck and if any of you feel that way i definitely encourage you to reach out to someone a family member a friend a therapist um somebody to help because you never want to feel like there's no meaning for you to be here there's always a reason for us to be there here there's a reason for everything even like like I said even if we don't understand it there's always a reason and if you're still here if you're still breathing there's a reason you know God has kept you here for a reason so you know going through grief it may be hard to see that reason initially but I promise you guys if you just keep going and you keep pushing and you don't let yourself get stuck God will reveal what you're here to do or what needs to be done but you just have to keep going and so the final thing is a sense of responsibility you blame yourself um and uh initially when Bailey passed I did blame myself I felt like oh I could have did this or oh, I could have did that I could, and that's just unhealthy you don't want to sit there and play the what if game because it's so unhealthy you guys like um it was like a day or two and I you know boohoo cried and I just kept thinking it was my fault. I failed her, I failed her, I failed her. And I had to get out of that mindset and I had to really think, you know, we acted quickly. We did everything that we could. We had the vet do everything that we could, they could. Um, so, you know, it's like, it's not my fault. It's just, it's, it's just what happened. And I know that I did everything I could. I know that Jaren knows she did everything we, she could. The vet did everything we push as hard as we could push for her and so it's, it's not anybody's fault and you shouldn't put that blame on yourself um you know we're all here for a specific time in a specific season so Bailey was here for her time and she did what she was meant to do while she was here so you yeah, get you just don't want to do that so these are just six steps these are just six signs that you may be stuck you don't have to have all six you may have one or two or three or you may have all six so if you feel these things I think it's important that you seek help don't try to work through it on your own um, you know we're here as a community you can reach out to me you can reach out to in the comments it's a community of people that can help you get through you don't have to carry the burden alone